Hi guys, today we are going to have a drink at Elsa Bar and create a look that is, I think, perfect for dates. <laughs> so Elsa Bar is really my favorite bar in Brooklyn. I just love the atmosphere, I love the interior design, everything was like made for this place so everything fits perfectly it's so beautiful i'm a huge fan and also the cocktail i like couture cocktail it's like delicious so you just have the perfect night with a good atmosphere and having fun and enjoying what you're drinking so it's really the perfect place for a date for this look i'm gonna have very strong eyes so i'm gonna start by applying concealer under my eyes a little bit around my nose and around my lips I'm doing a little bit more coverage this time and I'm using my beauty blender to make sure I have a little bit more coverage in this area to make sure that I'm not going to look tired because when you have intense black eyes, this is where your features can look a little bit more dark and tired. So by bringing brightness with your concealer, you're really going to have a fresh look even though your eyes are super intense. I'm using a bit of highlighter on my cheekbones, a little bit more than I will put during the day because I want to play with the light of the place and a little bit on the nose, a little bit on the cupid's bow, the chin and the inner corner of my eyes. So that's it for the face. I won't do any more foundation, whatever, because I want to keep it pretty fresh and focus on erasing the shadow. Now yeah, I'm using lipstick. The reason why I love to use lipstick for this look is because I can shape my cheekbones a little bit more. Again, I'm kind of playing with the lighting at night and it's just gonna give like a beautiful shape and uh, the texture is very nice so it's just gonna give a very glowy and moisturized skin look which is perfect when you do such a heavy statement on your eyes. I want to do my eyes by focusing on the lash line. So as you can see, it's very dark by the lash line. I'm going to color the waterline between the lashes on top of my lash line. And then I'm going to blend with my brush. So the intensity is really there. And then you can shape your eyes a little. So I just go like, not like a liner, but I will just shape it out to make it more up and more feline, but not super well done because I'm going to apply more products on it. So I don't really spend too much time doing this perfectly so again like i'm coloring my lash line my waterline blend with my brush and then make sure i'm shaping my outside corner a little to this sort of feline cat eye effect without being too graphic then i'm going to use this cream but it's not too greasy it's like the perfect texture and I'm gonna grab a lot of it on my brush and then I'm gonna pat. So I'm using a flat brush in order to make it quicker and easier and I have more intensity exactly where I wanna have. I'm gonna focus again more intensity by the lash line and like slowly, slowly it's gonna be a bit more blended. And I'm doing um, the same on the outside corner, making sure my shape is um, feline a little bit more and take the time to shape it. But every time I'm gonna blend the edge because I really don't want it to be too sharp. I can use my beauty blender, as you can see here, to clean it up and shape it again, but not too strong. That's really the key to make it effortless, is to shape it, but not too much. Now I'm doing the other eye, so you can see again, the intensity is focused on the eyelid. Uh, more by the lash line and then slowly blends. I'm focusing again on making the feed line shape so I just blend my brush out and then sometimes you can even use your finger to make the edge a bit more soft uh, in the inside or outside. So mascara you can use a lot because the intensity of your eye makeup will kind of hide your lashes. You can really apply a lot of mascara on the bottom and the top lashes. But like I always say, keep more texture on the roots and a little bit less heavy on the tip so it really looks like a natural shape of a lash. So I'm using glitter on top of this. Because I'm using thicker glitter than I usually do, I'm gonna have a little bit of glitter glue that I'm gonna apply on my eyelid, but just on the half part of it, like closer to my lash line again. And then I'm grabbing, yes, I put my glitter in a little bag like this so I can take it with me on the go. And I'm just gonna pat very gently the glitter on top of the glue. It's gonna dry right away. Some are gonna fall because it's a bit heavy. 
but um, I'm using a comb like you can see right here to remove it and I just brush out wherever it's too high or it's on my face. The idea is to keep the glitter more by the lash line, a little bit on the bottom and the top eyelid. And not having like a super high uh, glitter eyelid. I like to focus more smaller because it's sort of like an ombre. So it will be like super intense, a lot of glitter and then slowly disappear into your black eyeshadow. And I love to have this very thick glitter for black because the idea here was to give a little bit of a disco ball effect. So the reflection are going to be stronger and I didn't want to give a foil metallic eyelid effect. I really wanted to play with um, the glitter effect. Now a very little touch of nude lipstick and that's it. The lips has to be super natural. Also the idea is that this look is sexy, is mysterious, dramatic, but you can still kiss. It's an invitation for your lover to be able to kiss you, not like when you're wearing a red lipstick. So it's a seductive look with an invitation, <laughs> if you know what I mean. I hope you guys like have fun with this look. One thing I would say is like don't remove your makeup, like normally remove it. Just I like to use a tape to tape out the glitter so it doesn't scrub my eyelid, otherwise you'll have reactions. Enjoy your night and I hope I'll see pictures of you guys online wearing this look. <laughs>